you can win. In 2 Samuel, or 1 Samuel 23, I'm sorry, 2 Samuel, forgive me, please. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I love you too, man. Okay, watch this. 2 Samuel 23, 20, it says there was a man named Benaiah, and in the middle of that verse, it says this. He had killed two lion-like champions of Moab. Now check it out. He killed two lion-like champions of Moab. You're not supposed to beat a champion. That's a fight you can't lose. I'm from the, I lived in San Antonio. My family's all from Texas. And I was like nuts crazy for the Spurs. And I watched them throw, if you saw the games, I watched them throw away game six. I watched them lose game seven and the Miami Heat won. And I thought, man, Miami Heat played like champions. My team couldn't, it was a fight they couldn't win. The day after, after my team loses, I saw LeBron James everywhere. Everywhere I went, I saw guys that looked like LeBron James. He, you saw the game, you know, when, when he did, it was amazing. And I just thought, man, you're not supposed to be champions. So there's fights that, that you, you can't win. That's the old way. But I want to show you something. Watch this. Years ago, when I was in high school, the story of my life, well, got in a fight with a guy. This is just a story of my life. We get in a fight in school. I just came back from Texas, so no, nobody knows me in high school. I lived here before. I went to Texas, came back. And suddenly some guy got me into trouble with the police wrongly. He comes to school, and it just turns into a fight. And we start fighting, and all of a sudden, he gets knocked out. And I'm looking, and he's just, all of a sudden, he's on the ground, knocked out. So I just step back in the crowd with everybody, and what happened to this guy? And so then the fight's over. Okay, cool. I'm walking in the, high, uh, in the hallways, and some guy walks up to me. This guy was a bully. The guy that walks up to me, his name was Jeff. The guy that got a fight with the steam. Jeff walks up to me, and he says, you know what, man? Big Sal's going to get you after school. I look at this guy, Jeff. He was a bully. And he had picked on me once, and I busted his nose. His nose bled. I, I went and bought him dinner. I felt so bad. He got two towels rich in the blood. Just stories of my life. So I took him out to dinner. So I'm looking at this guy, and I thought, okay, man, I can beat you, because I beat you before. But Big Sal, I don't think whatever that is, I don't think I can win that fight. So I started asking everybody, who's Big Sal? Now, now I just know Big Sal's going to get me out of school. Never met him, never heard of him. And everybody's going, oh, my you don't want to mess with Big Sal. He's this crazy Indian, and you just don't want anything to do with Big Sal. So now I'm scared. This is at lunchtime. After school, Big Sal's going to get me. So what I did is I went to all my homie friends, and I said, do me a favor, man. Big Sal. They all knew Big Sal. Big Sal's going to get me. Protect me. They go, okay. I went to all my rocker friends. Big Sal's going to get me. Okay. So everybody, everybody's going to back me up. So I get out of school. I have like, like a little, little posse with me, and between each building, I had people, it's this serious, and I had a lot of people like that, so whenever Big Sal came, wherever I was, there'd be people that would come out and they would, they would defend me. So I walk out, okay, here we go, I'm going to face Big Sal, and I'm looking up the street, and all of a sudden, I see, it's like the sun just shines only on one spot in the street, and I see this character, and I'm not exaggerating, it looked like he was seven feet tall, he's wearing a muscle shirt, and he had long black hair, and he walked like this. Just like that. And as he's walking like that, his hair in the sun's going, shoo, shoo, shoo. and he's got two beautiful girls on, you know, one on each side. And he's walking down the street, and I'm looking, oh my gosh, go, this is a fight I can't win. That's so why I thought, but I gotta do something. So I walk up to Big Sal, and he just walks right up to me, and I stop and I go like this. This is true, though. I'm, I'm looking at Big Sal. I go, man, I go, Big Sal, I go, I have no beef with you, man. And he looks down at me, this ferocious killer, he looks down at me and he goes, who are you? <laughs> and I went, what? And the fight was over, I didn't even have to fight, he didn't even know who I was. I was scared all that day for nothing. But one thing I learned is that there's some fights that you're not supposed to win, and somehow you can win them. This guy, Benaiah, fought Champions. Big Sal was a champ. I wouldn't have won. He fought champions and he won. Somebody say amen. amen. So here's truth number one, or, or the, the new rule. The old rule is there's fights you can't win. Here's the new rule. The new rule is Romans 8.37. Write this down. Romans 8.37, you are more than a conqueror. 